guys it's sunday morning and we are planning to do some useful stuff our brake rotor uh, for car kind of had some rust around it so we are going to remove it and we are going to make it shine entirely like new we'll guide you through the entire process of how it's going to be done removing the car wheel now uh, before i lift the vehicle so that the lug nuts get loose first lift it the yeah the wheel should not touch the ground that's it i believe that's good that's enough it? yeah okay okay i'm taking out the wheel before i start removing the rust on the rotor This is what exactly we are going to do. You can see the before, how it is. I'm using the wire brush as a drill attachment to remove the rust. I'm now using the sanding block to remove the rust where the wire brush could not reach earlier. Now the rust is removed from the rotor and is ready for the paint. I'm covering the disc part of it with this paper uh, like this and then I'm going to spray the paint after the surface is prepared. Now almost the preparation is done. I'll cover the brake pads with this plastic cover. Why are you covering it with plastic cover? Paint should not get inside the brake pads. Okay. Because we have brake pad sensors, right? So uh -huh. we don't want them to disturbed. Yeah. This is done already for paint. Mm. This is just a caliper paint, mm. high temperature resistant. So I got mm. it from Canadian Tire around like 15, 17 dollars, Canadian dollars. You have to shake it well. First spray would be very light. I'll gradually cover it with the second and third coat. You have to shake it well. Almost there. Yeah. I think one last final coating would be enough. Hold the can almost like 8 to 10 inches uh, away from the surface what you are painting. So that the coat is evenly spread across the surface and then it becomes a light coat. So that you can do it no more and more uh, till you get a perfect complete finish. I have almost like done three coatings now. We'll do another light coating just and then I'll complete this. I'll let it dry for uh, close to 30 minutes and then I'll put the wheel back on. Meanwhile, the rotor is drying. We are just cleaning the tire. We are using car all-purpose degreaser. He has some special sensors in his eyes which can find out even the minute dust. <laughs> it's almost done, you want to spray? Wash it off, wash the soap and the deep grease. Yeah. 
It's almost dry, right? Yeah, almost. Yeah, I can remove it. Paper? I'm going to talk the lug nuts, uh, about like 95 foot pounds of talk. This whole process took us about one hour, uh, but the thing is, the paper which we used for covering the disc while we were painting the rotar, that was almost cut to the shape of disc when we were painting the first rotar. So maybe that's why it took us very little time. I will say it didn't even take us one hour, it took us around like 40 minutes to 50 minutes. But if you're trying for the first time, it should be taking you around two hours. If you have any questions, please do leave us in the comment section. So we will definitely reply for it. Please do like and subscribe to our channel. Lots of love from Shirley. Delete.